1, 0, 0. How you get to 4 is 1 there, 5, Six, seven is zero, one, 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 eight. Now we've ran out because we've got. So remember, seven is our one, one, one. We got to add another digit. One, zero. Jeez, <laughs> that's a zero, guys. Zero, zero, zero. And now we add, now we're still counting, so it's 1, 0, 0, 1. Oh, by the way, so anytime what just went on there? OK, guys, how's that? So what I did here was, rather than doing that whole graphic thing where it was just the pulses, what I actually did was put in uh, the values right there. So, and again, we're thinking, we're thinking, take your computer screen so this points down and just turn it down. If you're in the CGCC library, just tell them I told you you could do it. Um, so you're looking, again, your screen, this thing's down. We're reading one, oh, excuse me, reading zero, 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 zero coming in. So that's zero and next time the one comes in it's one zero 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 so reading it that's left that's right okay okay so when that zero comes in obviously all those four zeros come in decoder reads zero. When this one comes in, it's going to say one, and so on and so forth, till you get all the way up to the nine, and it reads nine, then it sends a signal back to this guy to move the box, because I guess the problem was um, that there was nine balls per box. Move the box, reset the counter, and this guy sends out another, the counter sends out another four zeros here, which is read as a zero. The whole process starts over again. So, key thing, the uh, takeaway point in here is uh, page 53 of Digital Fundamentals with VHDL um, shows the time signal propagation uh, going backwards. Okay. So, let us return to our discussion of purport, uh, excuse me, positional weights. Okay. Um, binary, just the same as decimal, whereas position holds it has a weight. Um, same thing in binary because we're going to use our decimal place. We're going to do whole numbers uh, right now. Position to the left of the decimal place holds a position of 2 to the 0. And if we remember right, in EET 111, anything raised to the 0 power is equal to a 1. So we're in 121, still equal to 1. Okay. The next one, positional weight, is 2 to the 1. 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3, and so on. Now positions to the right is a decreasing powers of 2. Again, left was increasing. So 2 to the negative 1, 2 to the negative 2, 2 to the negative 3, so on and so forth, so on and so forth. Okay? So now, um, oh, let's talk about uh, least significant and most significant bit, like I talked about earlier. For a whole number where there's no decimal, 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, basically this is the least significant bit, and way out here at the end, so that's the most significant bit. Just think about it as this is the, well, it's the lowest. It's 2 to the 0, it's 1. And way out here at 2 to the 16th, you know, that's the high end, so most significant bit, least significant bit. All right, so um, again, positive powers of 2 to the left of a decimal. We're going back to decimals. To the left, negative powers um, to the right. So let's do, actually, let's talk about fractional weights while we're right here. So 
2 to the negative 1. What is that? 2 to the negative 1 is 1 over 2. 2 to the negative 2, 1 over 4, right? Because it's 1 over 2 squared. That's what a negative 2 is. What's this guy? Well, it's 1 over 2 cubed, or 1 eighth. So that's called fractional, fractional weight. Because all these are to the right of the decimal place here is fractions. So 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, 1 sixteenth, 1 32, etc., etc., etc. Okay, and again, 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2. Okay, so the fractional weight to the right of the decimal place. Um, even though it's fractional, you can also think of it as 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.125, 0 0.0625, da 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 da, etc., etc. Okay, so like we said before, where we had our decimal is basically the position is indicative of its weight, we can convert, um, you know, basically binary to decimal by adding the positional weights of anything with a 1 in it and discarding the rest, because anything that's a 0 times it is, is 0. So um, let's just illustrate with an example. Example 1, 1, 0, 1 with nothing after that decimal place. So what is in the 2 to the 0 position? That's a 1. There's a 0 in the 2 to the 1 position, a 1 in the 2 to the 2, and a 1 in the 2 to the 3. So 2 to the 0, that's a 1. So 1 times 1. Now again, we're adding them up. So we're going to discard this guy with a 0, because it's 0 times 2 to the 1 is 0. But now we're going to use this guy. 1 times 2 to the 2. And this guy is 1 times 2 to the 3. So 1 times 2 to the 3 is 1 times 8. 1 times 2 to the 2 is 1 times 4. Plus 1 times 1. That's 8. Plus 4. Plus 1. 13. Ta-da! So that is how you convert binary to decimal. Okay? Um, let's do a fractional one. Let's see. 0 0.1. Let's do 1, 0. 1, 1, oh, 1. Okay. So here's my decimal place. To the left, it's increasing powers of 2, starting at 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1. Now this way, it's to the right, it's decreasing. Okay, so 2 to the 1, we know is a 2. 1 times 2. Discard this one. Don't need to worry about that one. Discard that one, because we don't need to worry about that one. Plus, okay, 2 to the negative 1 is 0 0.5. Plus 2 to the negative 2 is 0.25. Plus this guy, which is, where is it? This guy right here, 0 0.0625. So it looks like it's 2 plus 0 0.5 plus 0.25 plus 0 0.0625, and what you get, 2.8125. Ta-da! Okay? So there are bunches of examples in this thing, and uh, see if you can knock a couple of them out, and uh, we will start up with, uh, excuse me, we'll return with conversion from, let's see, what is it, what did we do? We did binary to decimal, we'll do decimal to binary.